you know, after your last record, getting ready for this one, what inspired you? What was your process or, or your frustration? I, uh, so we had, you know, Friday night hit, She Don't Love You hit, um, put out new music and uh, it didn't quite hit, you know? Had fun, I got to dance and stuff with high class. <laughs> and, uh, you know, put on some fancy clothes and have fun with it. And uh, made that album and, and realized I need to go make another album. Like it was, it was, pre- it was a pretty deep album. And uh, I think it's it's being stored away now. Someday it'll show up when it's ready. But um, went and made new music. So I, I've almost made two records. Well, I've made two records in the last mm-hmm. two years. And um, and it's, uh, I, I think, you know, you go out on the road and you play shows and you write songs. And eventually you just get wore out. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, I didn't like fall out of love with music but it became like it was kind of like just a routine and i think all of us get into that any job any everybody can fall into that and it wasn't that i wasn't grateful to do it i'm always grateful to play for fans and all that but when you're trying to be creative and and let all that happen uh i don't know i i i think i i just realize like what makes you joyful what why do yeah. you do this and and went back in and i just had a blast recording this music mm-hmm. and i had a blast recording the other album um but i don't know it's just it's the right music for now and uh but yeah i mean had my head down writing songs chiseling out of the house <laughs> and building a new record and uh and always on the road you know we're always out and yeah. getting to play shows and i love it you know yeah. share new music creep it in at shows so I read somewhere you did like two hundred shows in that. Yeah, we play a lot of shows. Yeah, you know. Do you do you find yourself creative on the road, or have you got to get back home and digest that? I find myself like I put really terrible melody ideas in the phone where you're like, "That's awful. Don't share that at the right, or they won't believe it." But <laughs> um, you know, I it is it is hard to ride on the road because you're out of a routine and you don't know if there's a riding place here or there. Um, but you can, I've got I've written some good ones on the road. Um, if we're out on the road. Let's write. Cool. Yeah. Between the interviews and the hangs. But I, I uh, the typical place, man. I mean, just in Nashville, it's just it's so, it's so cool when you're yeah. here and get to meet friends and hang out and write yeah. a song and and see see what happens. You know, it's mm-hmm. that thing. You show up. You gotta you gotta do it. Yeah. You, know, you gotta throw the bait in the water and get better at it. Yeah, it you must be present to win is kind of one of yeah. my mottos. And it's really hard for me even to book writing sessions at home. I mean, yeah. when I'm out there working, it's... You love writing on the road, I right? I do, because yeah. it doesn't... A, you, got, you have an audience that reminds you why you're doing this, like now. Yeah. You know, it's like... I should do that. I should play a show and then go write a song more often. Uh-huh. Because you go... That's where it is. This is where we're throwing. Right. I mean, it really. We're talking about fishing. It's like there's there's the pond. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, they bit. Yeah, you know. And it's not always about singing it for them, but I could go through a list of songs, like Ronnie and I. Either one had come off stage, literally singing a melody or something. Yeah, you know. And it's so funny because we'd be on buses next to each other and sending text and emails back and forth like, like what do you what think of this? this what, what do you think this? it is you know That's like special, we're we can't even face each other you know eventually one of us grabs a guitar and runs over to yeah the bus fine. Next door. <laughs> yeah but it's like no it goes like this yeah. you know stop saying that because yeah <laughs> here's here's what i was thinking you know but but it is to me that's really where the where the chaos and the music and the ideas are you know it's sometimes well, you know, a lot of writers, I think good writers generally spend quite a bit of time on the road. You know, most most hit writers I know will jump yeah. on a bus and go out there just to feel that. Well, and the, and the right with the artist, you know, yeah. your, your odds are better. And yeah, and, and yeah you're, you're in, just in, in the world that this music is played in and, and makes the most memories. It's like, uh, it really is magic, like, to... To be on a stage, to see fans, to hear them singing along to some song mm-hmm. that you're going, see, I told you that's how it should have gone, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's uh, it really is magic. I mean, the fact that we get to make music, I, I, <clears throat> I don't know why I've been saying it. It's like 
It is funny with music. It's like music wasn't made to make people famous, man. Like yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. That's it's a it's a it can be a great side effect because we get to do it a lot, and people want to come see it and hear it. And I, I think I can keep going back to the roots of of things, not just like the limb of it, you know. And and going, man, music was made to bring people together, and we sit around in a living room mm-hmm. like this and yeah and here's a guitar and if you're if you're rich enough to have the piano cool you know and and play music and and to have that experience and the joy and and maybe a heartbreak here and there to share and uh, i keep going back to remembering that when we're playing music to uh bring people in with us and, mm-hmm. and let them be welcome and mm-hmm. and still have you know they get to root you on and yeah. stuff and that's always a good thing i love cheering for people i love yeah at shows and so we got to see the mavericks in austin the other night dear lord i dance you know <laughs> that whole room dances for three and a half hours you know just good vibes <laughs> and great music but um it really is amazing the fact we get to write songs and get to share them and and uh and just do this and it's uh, it it's fun it's fun putting out new music, you yeah. know? That's good. It's, I, I think we'd be hard-pressed to find anybody that does what we do that didn't earn their chops in a living room somewhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, even before we got to play bars and stuff, I, yeah. I mean, most everybody, everybody I can think of and know, you, you played for your friends and whatever yeah. around at parties when you're passing a guitar around. And you had yeah. some friends that could barely play whatever, and yeah. you pat them on the back and go, that's cool. Yeah. But there's some couple people that that have kind of worked at it and are the ones that wind up taking the party over and whatever, yeah. and that's where it is. You know, now these days, usually when we're around, we we pull out our most poignant, you know, deepest thing, because that's where we can get away with it, yeah. you know? and, and All, you're, all you're the with songwriter a, buddies. Yeah, and you're with a group of people that really appreciate how deep you dug yeah. in the they world. They want to think get, hard, man. <laughs> that's good. But generally before that, you had to have something fun and, and whatever. And there's a lot of nights when even for big crowds that I'll take myself back to, you know, my lake house kitchen or whatever, wherever we used to, all our friends used to come in after water skiing or whatever. And, you know, bearing it up and just partying. And remember that's still, even with your buddies to get that whole bunch, to make eye contact with everybody, to to face the crowd as small as and whatever as it might have been, to get everybody fired up and, like yeah. you say, bring them to you. Yeah. And that's and there was never, you know, we always talked about fame and whatever, but that was something you talked about. It wasn't yeah. something that, in your heart of hearts, you really thought was going to happen or even cared about. Certainly at the moment, yeah, it's all about the joy and the fun of what we do yeah. and that's that's why we do it you hate to tell people we do it for nothing but that's oh i've had true. a blast singing harmony <laughs> with y'all over the years in the car long before i'm sitting here thinking man how cool is this you know music let's let's just hang out this morning drink some good old yeah. thick coffee yeah. and uh and talk about music and and it's and think about memories i, I used to live on the lake i, I had a just through the, I I don't. It's like songs work. I don't know, man. You write yeah. songs and you and you just hope they get heard. And it allowed me to buy this little house on the lake, and I bought it from a couple that they built it themselves. And and uh, uh, I they I think they gave me kind of like the grandson price of like here we really want you to take care of our <laughs> house. And and it was it really is beautiful just getting to see God's creation and 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 the blessings of getting to hang out and talk about that we have a pond you know <laughs> we get to throw lines into i always say the fi- i know where the fish are now they're cornered you know <laughs> and uh but it's uh it really is a special journey and just getting to hang out and and i always love I, all these awards are coming up you know acms are coming up and all that and it's it's always like a family reunion i've i haven't i haven't had a song in like what a year so i like i honestly like miss seeing people in radio you know, mm-hmm. like, like, it's like, I have all these memories and, and, and there's those, those dinners where there's like, they got, we got a little too deep, you know, <laughs> it's like, I don't, we don't need to heal the world. We just need to share some music, but, uh, you know, but Makes music, you appreciate the power of, Hey, good looking. Doesn't it? Hey, right. <clears throat> it yeah. really is amazing. I have to remind myself of that sometimes too. Yeah. 
It's not all uh, he stopped loving her today. Oh, yeah. No. I want to hold your hand. <laughs> I want to hold you. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is. It's just, does it take you somewhere? Does it allow your 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 thoughts to run mm-hmm. and, and you to go, hey, babe. <laughs> so when you go to, so you've been out for a while and you're, you're back, you got a single young forever. Yeah. So you've written a ton of songs. Yeah. You've probably written this song how many times? Right? I think every songwriter has probably, you know, forever young, young, forever, yeah. whatever. So what made you feel like this needs to happen again? This song, this you know this song never gets tired. Little side note before I start talking mm-hmm. about the song. I actually wrote with Ruby Stewart, which is Rod Stewart's daughter. She's okay. in a great band called The Sisterhood. I don't know if you've gotten to talk with them yet. They sound <laughs> fabulous. But I'm, I sat down and was like, we just chose my single. And it's not like your dad's song, but you can tell him I'm a nice guy at least. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, Young Forever, it's, uh, I wrote it with Morgan Evans, just great Aussie. He's fabulous. I mean, he's got mm-hmm. a great song out. Yeah. He's got, other, I yeah, think he has really three did. songs out as a songwriter. So, like, good job, Morgan. And yeah. Married himself a really nice girl named uh-huh. Kelsey. People might have heard of. <laughs> yeah, but I wrote it with him. Wrote it with Chris Stefano, and uh, Chris has had hits. We and I were on Rewind together with Rascal Flatts, and and I'm gonna drop the name drop. Yeah, <laughs> Get dropping names. <laughs> um, but I remember we wrote it, and it was just like we were just smiling at ear, going like, "Well, you like throw out the line, and then you throw out the line, and you're like, this is freaking awesome! Holy crap, that is a great line!" And I remember calling Morgan like, "Man, uh, can I?" can I record this? Are you going to record it? Or we can both record it. I don't, you know, where it's yeah. like, I love this song. You know, uh-huh. please, let's, let, let, you know, may I have your blessing sir? you know? <laughs> and, uh, and he was like, totally my, yeah. He didn't say mate, but he's from Australia. <laughs> Probably did, yeah. For the sake of the viewers. But it's, <laughs> he's just fabulous. And uh, I love that we caught the song and went and recorded it. I, I've co-produced a lot of this with Ilya Tashinsky, who's a great musician. He's probably played on some of your stuff. And, and I know uh, he well, just yes, and he has great, you know. And uh, we just had a blast. But I, I this song, it at the beginning, I, I feel like it like a, a door just kind of opens. It's like the, the, even the sound of it kind of is like this welcoming people back into kind of my world, and mm-hmm. and maybe them welcome me back into their world. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the first chorus. I don't know why I've never done this on a recording ever. And I was like, the whole group vocal needs to be in it. Like the whole gang vocal, which is my band and Morgan and Chris. And we're all singing on it together. Cause I wanted people like, I wanted them back. I wanted to welcome back to the party and, and mm-hmm. hopefully me the same, you know, and, and let them just in everybody's world. And we're in this together, you know? And, and not be divided or me trying to be like the guy on stage, like singing, like, look how cool I am. I'm back. Yeah. You know, and, and, uh, which I mean, if the girls want me to be that, you know, but, uh, I don't know. It just seemed right. And there was an excitement when people were hearing it. And there's just something in the air around this song that just feels good. And I, we've, you know, we've all had singles out where you believe in it and you want it to work. And, but there's not quite a, there's this something around this song that just feels good, and, mm-hmm. and it's not just like flying off this. It's only been out for a minute, but it, uh-huh. but it just feels good, and I'm proud of it. I yeah. hope every artist is proud of their music, but yeah. I, I definitely am proud of this, and and that it's a first, uh, a first song at the dance to come back to. You cool. Know? Well, good luck with it. It's. Have you read uh, Springsteen's book by chance? I have not. So don't. Don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, but get it i've got it on audible he narrates it oh okay so let him read it to you okay because it's amazing but um the the period when he had his solo uh you know when he went out as a solo artist after mm-hmm. he let the after at, long after 10 years after e street band and then you know he had studio musicians then he did a solo thing i mean he's he speaks in such poetry you will mm-hmm. love hearing him tell you but it's interesting you'll enjoy the period i think for you now where he kind of and not that you did a solo 
acoustic thing necessarily, but he he just had some music yeah, that he had to get it that, off his yeah. chest and whatever before he got the band back together, yeah. you know, and and sort of got back into his E Street mode yeah. and just and and a lighter, um, and he he explains he doesn't even justify it. He just explains that process and and how important it is mentally and everything else to to get back into and you know that was even the rising came after that so there was some heavy mm-hmm. music that had to be written after the towers came down for him yeah. but he found he found a fun place that he had been at before and yeah. and and it was a real healthy place and and um I see you. I see you jumping in those waters right now, and I think you're gonna have fun swimming. So. Feels good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck, man. I love you, man. Pulling for you, you too, pal. Thanks. <laughs>